guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Foundation Friday. I know, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded loaded a Foundation Friday. I know a lot of you guys love Foundation Fridays and I just honestly, since COVID started, BLM is now more prominent and a change needs to happen. And all that was going on, the riots, the protests, like the injustice in the world, I think the makeup industry kind of was like, Foundation is just not important right now. <laughs> so a lot of it just wasn't being released and whatever was being released was being held off. So I will be doing some foundation battles for you guys. So stay tuned for that. But today we're going to be testing out a new foundation. And <laughs> um, I'm a little excited about this one. So I am a part of the Benefit Club Pink. I want you guys to always know 100% what's being sent to me, what I'm buying, what I'm not buying. Um, whose PR I'm on, you guys need to always know. So Benefit sent me their Air Stick Foundation, and they sent me two to three sticks. So they sent me a seven and an eight, and I think seven might be my color, or even eight might be my color. Let's go ahead and go on to Sephora. It is has SPF 20 in it. It comes with... Let me see how many shades. So Benefit Cosmetics is notoriously known for not having enough shades. So they they literally have not enough shades. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve shades. Benefit, they ain't got no shame in their game. They do not care. They're like, we this is how we are, and this is how we release things. They do have some darker shades, which is great, you know. Okay, so according to the shade finder, shade six is my color. So I'm gonna use shade six and I'm gonna use shade eight to contour so I definitely want to see how it's gonna contour because you guys know I love their hula bronzer so contouring is key and it has 12 shades it goes all the way to a what's the darkest shade the darkest shade is a dark neutral and this shade is a fair cool so that's shade one and I am shade six and shade six is this so, and shade six is a, oh, shade six is a medium warm. And it has SPF 20 in it. It's meant for a normal to dry combination skin and oily skin. It's light to medium coverage, which is typically what Benefit Cosmetics is. It's always light to medium coverage. Um, they say it has chamomile in it, and it also has subtle lavender scent. And it says a lot of women felt like it was weightless, it glided on the skin, and it looks seamless. So let's go ahead and see how that is. Um, obviously, when you open it, it looks like this. It has something in the middle that must be the shea butter. I don't know if you guys could see that. Come on. I'm going to go in with my contour first, and I'm going to give myself the contours first. I really like to use stick foundation to contour. I think it's um, a smart thing to do. It gives you like a really nice glow, so why not? It does have a lavender scent. They said it's subtle, but the lavender scent is super extreme, so I wouldn't say it's subtle. Now I'm gonna go in with six, which they said is my color, which I think it's a little dark for me. Maybe I should have gone in with the five since I'm doing this contouring. So I like to use a brush whenever I use a stick foundation. I feel like it just helps blend everything in together. So that's what I'm gonna do. And here I am using the Milk Makeup Foundation Brush. They did a collection with Sephora. That's the one I'm using. Personally, I, I really do like it. It's gliding really nice. It's not as hydrating as I thought it would be. Definitely going to need more coverage. And I definitely think the color six is a little, it's a little, a little dark. I think I could have been a five. I would say the coloring discrepancy could be a little off a little bit right now. But you know what? I really like this. If you have drier skin, the scent is a little off though. If you have drier skin, I would maybe not recommend this because it is a little, it's not as easy to glide on. Like when I was putting it on, it was very easy to glide. 
but now that I'm blending, it's not as easy to blend, if you know what I mean. It's definitely not like, oh my gosh, this is like such an easy thing to blend. So that contour method definitely made me look really glowy. And I look a little, it does actually match pretty well. In a weird way, it really does match. It matches pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and build the coverage. I'm going to add some more. I'm going to just like add it to the foundation brush like this and see what that does. And let's build the coverage. Oh, okay. Just press it in. And it actually does build really nicely. Okay, I'm not having any problem with the building. It is very, very seamless. It is very weightless, I will say that much. It's weightless. The fragrance is not subtle. You could definitely smell the lavender a little bit stronger than, you know, they were saying. I don't know what subtle is for them, but I guess we all have like our subtle, our subtleness, you know, what we think is subtle. I definitely think this is a little strong for me. It's a very natural, natural foundation stick. It's really, really easy to wear and it looks very seamless. I don't think it's like pore minimizing or anything like that, as you can see. Okay, I need to do some concealer. I'm gonna use some nude concealer. This is the Too Faced Multi-Use Concealer. It is nice and damp, so I'm just gonna go ahead and press this out with my damp beauty blender. I feel like this whole um, foundation stick could use a little bit of hydration. It does not have hydration. So I think I'm gonna press it out with, you know, blend it out with some of a wet, damp beauty blender. I wanna give you guys a quick view of my face from my um, iPhone. Like iPhone always gives like a true look. So this is the true texture of the foundation. I think the coverage is pretty good it's very natural it almost looks like you have makeup on but you don't have makeup on it's kind of that like makeup no makeup look um it is a little textury here it didn't really minimize my pores here and you can see the dark spots very heavily over here so definitely it's not enough coverage to cover dark spots if that's what you're looking for to cover dark spots but if you're someone who just wants to have spf 20 in your foundation and you just want to wear have an everyday foundation that you just glide onto your face and you go forward i think this is maybe for you i'm gonna go ahead and set this with this hello happy powder so i'm gonna see what that does how that reacts how does it react with the setting powder it actually reacts really nice with the setting powder it's almost like this product was made for this product obviously they're the same brand so i would make i would assume that it works so i really like it with this on top but that's also just giving it more coverage so i'm just gonna flat out say it this foundation stick does not have enough coverage for me okay guys so i went ahead and finished my whole face and honestly, I feel like this foundation dried really, really well. And at the same time, I felt like the products went on really, really well. I'm going to go ahead and test out this foundation for the rest of the day. And then I'll let you guys know my final verdict. I'm still like this on it. Um, it didn't pass a lot of like application tests. So if it's from the beginning not passing my application test or like how I like my foundation to look, I don't, I'm not really into the finish of it yet but I will wear it for the rest of the day. Sometimes foundations end up like kind of warming up to your skin and then they'll make your skin look so good. So maybe this will happen with this foundation, but we'll see. I hope it's not a dud, um, but let's go head and see. Hey guys, so I've had on the foundation for about like good three, four hours and it's really staying put. It has not gone anywhere. Look at that. Looks really good still. It really has that skin-like texture to it. Um, it's not really like full coverage. You know, you guys know I love that full coverage. I think for a summer foundation, you know, during the summer, you're supposed to wear less makeup. There are no rules to makeup, but they suggest more breathable makeup. So this is definitely a much more breathable foundation. So I'm like literally here for it. And I think it's not bad. It's actually really good. Um, and I just, I think it, it, it looks good. I still do not suggest it for dry skin because I have a very, very dry skin. 
and I just feel like it's not as dry skin friendly, but if you have normal decombination to oily skin, this could be a good option for you. I think so, but I'm gonna come back and check in in another four hours and that would be about like an eight hour wear. I'm not gonna test this out for 16 hours because I don't wear 16 hour foundation. I don't know who wears foundation for 16 hours. Comment down below if you wear foundation for 16 hours because I really need to know. I think the longest I've worn a foundation like where it needed to be presentable was probably 12 hours because like 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Yeah, 12 hours, right? But even then, I would have to touch up the foundation. I have yet to find a foundation that you don't need to touch up just a little bit, right? Um, yeah, so I'll be back in a little bit. So it's pretty much golden hour and during golden hour, everything looks good. So this foundation is, of course, going to look good right now um but i think it's a decent foundation is it my favorite no is it my most favorite stick foundation no will i go with hourglass stick foundation instead yes um is this my favorite foundation no am i gonna skip on this foundation yeah i'm gonna skip on it um it did really oxidize you guys here on camera you can't tell that it oxidized but it oxidized a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot um so because it oxidized it's definitely not gonna work out for me and yeah I just wasn't impressed and it's so sad because I haven't done um, foundation Fridays in forever and the first one I launched after a while is uh, I don't want to try it I don't want to buy it I don't want to deal with it type of thing um, it's not about the brand it's just about the product hopefully hopefully the brand doesn't get mad and like take me off their PR because I'm being honest like you guys know how it is like I cannot sugarcoat things but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Foundation Friday. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.